Using Clerk's metadata that we learned about in the last video, we're going to implement a basic access control in our application. There's a guide in the documentation linked in the caption below, but let's see what I have added to our application so far. Using the public metadata we added to the user object, I checked to see if the user is an admin, and if they are, I'm going to show a link that you can see here that shows an admin, which if you click on it, it is going to take you to the admin dashboard. But so far, we are not protecting the admin dashboard. So if I go back here and actually update my user to have a different role, such as the user, and save, I no longer see the admin link. But if somebody comes in here and punch in the address, they can still see the admin dashboard. So we need to go back to our middleware and actually protect this route against unauthorized access. Now, the public metadata is accessible on the user object. Inside of our middleware, we have the auth object. Now, instead of coring Clerk's backend API for the user object every time inside of our middleware, we're going to add the public metadata to our session token. Now, let me show you how we can customize the session token. Go to your application dashboard under configure page, go to the sessions, and under here, you can customize the session token. So I'm just going to paste metadata and I'm going to set this to user public metadata. This is going to pull in our user's public metadata and add it to our JWT token so we can check it inside of our middleware. Now back in our middleware, let's add another route matcher that checks for admin routes. And if we are on an admin route, we want to make sure that we have a metadata role admin on our session claims. Now our session token contains the public metadata under the metadata property because that's how we set it up inside of our session token. And let's import this next response. And now if the user is trying to access the admin route, but doesn't actually have that role, they're going to be redirected back to the homepage. So let's test this out. If I go back to my application and go back to the homepage, I am not an admin now. If I go to the admin route, it is going to redirect me back to the admin page. And if I go back to my user and actually give them an admin role, save this up, I see the admin link, and if I click, I go to the admin dashboard. And that's how you can implement basic access control using Clerk's metadata.